were at the RFPS uh, stand at the Flinders Island Show, which is obviously best stand in show. We've got the, uh, the simulator here, but we're basically raising uh, the conversation of men's health here on Flinders Island. Obviously, it's a rural community, it's a fairly remote regional community, and those issues of men's health, of, of talking to people, physical health, mental health is uh, kind of a conversation starter that we're up to here today. I think all the advertising and the fact that it's out in the open now, that I think back in the day, blokes would keep it all to themselves. So now they're, um, they're, they're happier to talk to people. It's still, a, still like pulling teeth half the time. Yeah. It's not a tough man syndrome of not saying anything. I think people are happy to say, oh, my mate's in a bit of trouble and yeah. hopefully help him out. So tell me the most important thing about men's health. Oh, you've got to get regular checkups with your health. Go see the doctor once a year, get some bloods taken for your prostate, get your urine tested for blood in there. Just make sure you're generally healthy. Tell me about men's health on the island. Well, we live on Cape Barren Island, and men's health is a big thing. Mental health, physical health, anything. And as far as the Royal Flying Doctors go, I owe the Royal Flying Doctors, I ride a motorbike. I've chatted my collarbone, broke six reeds, defaded lung, and flew off the um, Mel, uh, Hobart. Love men's health. Everything. Like we've got a men's shed over there and we do stuff to get active and stuff like that. So sometimes it picks up and everyone's up there and sometimes it's not there for a few months. And tell me about the isolation on the island. Some people like it, some people don't like it, but yeah, when, when someone's hurt we all stick together and make yeah. sure everything works out, yeah. Why do you think blokes won't get their prostate checked here on the island? I think part of it is because the doctor is someone that they know and play golf with and it's a personal thing and if you have a doctor that you don't know or have to deal with all the time, to have those sort of invasive things done is a lot easier. Females, we get have a female doctor come over who is not here all the time, we don't have to work with her or deal with her because we're both nurses, so it's no issue to go in and have your pap smear done or whatever with someone you're not seeing all the time because it's embarrassing. I'm over here, I'm in the I'm out of here, can't help but smile. I see your face, oh, and I'm very lovely. I'll be back this year. Healthy is very healthy to live on Flinders Island if you do the right thing. And what's doing the right thing? Uh, don't drink to excess, don't smoke at all, and don't go around with bad women. Too stoked with that. <laughs> Tell me what you think about men's health. Um, men's health, yeah, well, we should all be <laughs> looking after ourselves better. And uh, there's no point to be tough. <laughs> Say, how are you? Yeah. But sometimes, how are you how Yeah. How, how, how are you really? really? Yeah. 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 You know, I mean, if it takes a close friend to have the conversation with, you know, you can have it with everybody. Yeah. So it's great to have close friends. You know, if you don't have close friends, 